Hey guys, how are you all? My name is Atif and I will be teaching you geography. So tell me, what do you guys think? Is Africa really going to split into two continents? Is there any possibility or is it just a myth? And if it is the case, then there are a lot of things that are associated. So if it is going to break into two continents, then what is the cause? Why is it happening? And when will it eventually happen? When will the Africa finally be divided into two continents? So you stay with me and I will discuss all these things with you because Africa is a continent that has been UPSC's favorite. Now, let's first understand what is the present condition of the African continent. This is the map of Africa, how it is today. If you see, this is the northern part of Africa and it is a desert well answer me in the comments what is the name of the desert after that we will move towards this part what is it the eastern part of africa this is the part that we are primarily concerned with so that is why you should at least know the names of the countries of this region to name a few you have ethiopia kenya tanzania all these countries especially kenya just remember where kenya is this is the location of Kenya on the map. I will tell you later on why Kenya is important to us. After that, right up to Mozambique, all these countries, you should know the name. This is called the Horn of Africa. It is having four countries. You can remember it like this. S, E, E and D. Seed. What does the seed mean? It is the name of the four countries starting with Somalia, Eritrea, Ethiopia and Djibouti. Most of you uh, might ask me, sir, Djibouti is like J, but it starts with D. So that is how you should remember the African horn, the horn of Africa. This is the eastern part. Now, let's come to this map. Now, understand that this is the region that we are talking about. Why this region? Because this is the region that is primarily going to separate from Africa. Let us look at this region. If you are able to see these things, it has a lot of mountains lot of lakes there this region is vulnerable to lot of earthquakes and volcanic activities why is all this happening in this region to know these things we have to dig a bit deeper and go to the interior of the earth to understand all these things all of you if you don't know then the earth is made up of tectonic plates what are the tectonic plates these are the lithospheric slabs now if you have not studied the interior of the earth, then we will take a separate class for that. You don't have to worry about that. Right now, all you need to remember is that the earth is made up of tectonic plates that float on the semi-solid asthenosphere. So to make it simple to you, if this is the one layer of earth, it is semi-solid. It is called asthenosphere and on top of it is a solid layer called the lithosphere. And this lithosphere floats on the semi-solid asthenosphere. For example, just imagine you take a block of wood and put it on water. What is going to happen? The block of wood will float on water. Same is the case here. The solid lithosphere floats on the semi-solid asthenosphere. Asthenosphere is semi-solid and the lithosphere is solid. Now, all the world, this is the map of the world. It is made up of these tectonic plates. If you are able to see, you have Eurasian plate, Indian plate, African plate, Somali. These are all the names of the plates. You don't have to remember all these names right now because primarily this time we are concerned only with this region, the African region. African region is what we will be discussing and it comprises of two plates, the African plate and the Somali plate. If you are able to see these lines that I'm drawing right now, these are the plate boundaries where the two plates intersect or interact with each other. And this is very important for us to know where the plate boundaries are because this will eventually decide what is going to happen to the continents. Is there going to be rifting or mountain building? Everything will be decided by the plate boundaries. So right now, Remember that African continent comprises of two plates, the African plate and the Somali plate. 
these are the two plates that you need to remember right now and also know their location if you know the majority of the africa is covered by the african plate and only the eastern part of africa is com comprises of somali plate clear up until now if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section i'll be highly obliged to answer you now let us come to the spreading what happens when the two plates move how they move this is very important i'll give you a brief overview of how the plate movement takes place these are the moments three types of moments are there either the two plates are coming towards each other like this they are coming towards each other like this head on or they are going away from each other or they may go parallel to each other this is how it is the divergent plate boundary means when the two plates are going away from each other they are diverging that is what diverging plate boundary means convergent plate boundary means when the two plates are coming towards each other this is the convergent plate boundary and finally the transform plate boundary in which the plates go past each other they are neither coming towards each other or going away they are just passing now what is important to us right now is the divergent plate boundary because what we are talking about in africa it is a divergent plate divergent plate means when the plates go away from each other if you need an example of convergent plate boundary then remember that the formation of himalayas is a result of convergent plate boundary as of now this is all you need when we study the plate tectonics in detail we will discuss how the plates move how they converge but as of now you know that the area we are concerned with it is the divergent plate boundary this is the map of eastern part of africa see this is the horn of africa that i told you earlier and this is the eastern part if you remember the name of the countries then it's good because i have already told you to at least remember the name of the countries that belong to this region now what is here the great african rift valley rift what is a rift rift is something like a crack when it develops when the two plates move away from each other that is when the rift develops this region comprises of three plates the nubian plate or the african plate african plate or the nubian plate is the same thing somalian plate and the arabian plate which is they are all moving away from each other see look at the arrows this arrow this is the arrow in which the direction the somali plate is moving the somali plate is moving in this direction the arabian plate is moving in this direction right now arabian plate is not our concern we are dealing with the somali plate because africa as i already told you is made up of two plates the african plate and the somalian plate now imagine the two plates like this and one plate is moving away like this it is moving away what is going to happen what will happen just imagine two things like this and one is separating away there is going to be formation of rift that is what it is the great african rift the great african rift is the consequence of moving of the somali plate finally when you look at this region you will find mountains in this region you will find lakes in this region and there are a lot of lakes one question that might be uh, asked sometime is that lake victoria is also located in this place but lake victoria is not a rift valley lake it is in this location but it is not a rift valley lake there are a lot of lakes but victoria is not one of them you should know this now when the somali plate starts to move like this the rift valley will start to form so there is a very good chance some day the somali plate will move so far away that the two plates be so far and the continent will be divided into two that is why we are assuming that africa is splitting into two continents now the thing is that how does it happen where is africa currently right now let me tell you step by step how all the process takes place initially see look at the arrows these are the arrows that means the plates are diverging divergent means going away so the arrows look at the direction here you can see first there will be the upwarping uh, the land will be raised a bit finally when the plates will move the rift will be created there will be a gap created and the rift will be created along with the block mountains that will be discussed in the le next lecture but there will be a rift formation rift a rift is formed after that the water will start to come in and finally the plates will be so far that there will be ocean 
that is how the process will work these are the steps what is right now happening in africa this is your africa right now rift is formed so we can see the stage 2 right now there is stage 2 the rift has already formed and you can see there are mountains on both the sides as i told you there are possibilities of volcanoes on such sites block mountains are formed and the mount kilimanjaro is the highest mountain of africa okay and it is located along the rift valley this is how the rift valley is now you might be thinking why all of a sudden this news is getting so much of hype it has been happening for so many millions of years now what is new so in 2018 an enormous crack appeared in kenya imagine you're sleeping and all of a sudden there is a huge crack it's not a small crack that you see in the walls or the ceiling it is a huge crack you can see there is a full grown human that fits in it a full grown human is fitting in the crack and it went to a lot of around 50 plus kilometers so that is why again the interest developed in the scientists and the geologists so they wanted to research more about the rift valley what is the current situation that i have already told you so look this is the point from where the this is breaking and this is the news that has again led to the development of interest in this topic now you might have another question okay we have studied everything you can see this is an image where you can see the uh, this African continent is going away. Someday this might happen that an ocean fills in between and the part of Africa moves totally away from it. But the question arises, when will it happen? Okay, we agree that it is happening. But how long before the continent divides into two? So the answer is, it is not something that we are going to see. It is not going to happen in a year or two years or ten years or hundred years. No, because the speed of the movement of the plates is zero uh zero point two inch per year zero point two inch per year or seven mm per year so it is gonna take near about five to ten million years for the continent to totally break into two or the water to get filled in this region so that is a lot of time obviously we won't be there to see it if it happens another question that you can ask me is it compulsorily going to happen is this for a surety no again no because we don't know how the interior of the earth will behave the moment of the tectonic plates are gonna behave it might behave differently after some time and again the moment of the, the divergent movement of the somali plate might stop or it might start converging we don't know anything about these things but as of now the information that we have we can only assume that this is going to happen someday well obviously after a long time but it might happen so that is all about the breaking of the African continent. If you have any questions, any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer. And that is all from my side. Do like, share, subscribe so that you get such things from me. Okay, goodbye.